Hey, I just want to show you a new feature that came in PowerPoint. You have now an icon here. So you might want to, you know, if you use Copilot to create a presentation, you can do that here. Um, that's pretty standard to cre create a presentation about. But there's a small difference here. So let's see what you can do here. So when you create a presentation about something, and I'm going to pick up um, my favorite city, you create a presentation about Paris in France for an American tourist who excited to visit the city. So use whatever prompt you want. Just want to show you what's going to do what it's going to do here. So as you can see, it generates the slides here. And you can see that there's several things. I can move things around. So I can take this and move it down. I want to start with cuisine because that's my favorite. I want to do that. Uh, but I can add, as you can see, I can add slides where I want. And so to add slides, you know, I add a topic about. So uh, the topic about the most interesting museums to visit. So you can add your own slides, you can change the order, and then when you're finished, oh, did I, I'm not sure if I generated, let's see. So it's going to generate the sli those slides and it's going to give me a preview of those slides, which is pretty cool. So I can see pretty quickly how it's going to look like. Yeah, yeah, the museums. Um, so let's see, let's wait a little bit. All this, even Disneyland Paris. So it's really typical for American, I guess. And you can see it's, uh, it's very nice. A very nice layout you know some pictures that are related to paris i guess the most famous monument is the eiffel tower and so i can say now i'm i want to keep it and then now you you have your slide deck uh, i don't remember how you, yeah this is how you see it in, in a normal way so discover paris for the end so persian experience cuisine so it took the the order i gave and it, it, it created very nice slides with uh pictures are somehow related to the, the context of the slide uh, you need to check obviously if it's really what you want a famous cafe uh, bistros I can see t terrace here tips for dining etiquette and making reservation historical and cultural highlights okay looks very good the gallery the Louvre, Musée d'Orsay, Centre Pompidou there's more but yeah it's a good start shopping and fashion fashion unique boutiques and markets looks pretty good pretty amazing pretty you know would i have been able to do such a nice work by myself juggling with the content and um finding the right images that are related to what i'm writing here i'm not sure uh, so that's that's interesting because it, he understood that was american tourist how it was aimed to american tourists so it created some some uh, examples and how to pronounce it. That's pretty cool. That's just amazing. What you can do now with PowerPoint, it definitely, they, they change the quality of the presentation. It's high quality now. Um, I think in some cases, especially when you created, creating a PowerPoint from a Word document, the quality might not be as, as good as here. When you, what I've noticed is when you create a, a slide deck from scratch, the quality is better than when you create a, a slide deck from a Word document or PDF. Many, I think, because it's the size of the, the information in, in, it can inject. And so, but the structure is still good when, even when you reference the document. But here it's pretty fantastic. If there's something that is, um, you don't like, I don't know, what can I do here? I'm not sure if this is Paris actually. So you can look at the image I don't know if you know that. If you go to Alter and Text, selecting the image. So you see here, it's an image from uh, Bellagio in Italy. So obviously it's not what I want. Uh, so sometimes it's making mistakes. And so you can you know, delete the image and say, okay, the Copilot, how can I do that? Um, yeah, I'm gonna ask Copilot. Add an image of a typical Paris Street. Should I say Paris France? Let's try that. France. 
I don't want Paris, Texas here. <clears throat> so let's see if, yeah, that's much better. That looks more like friends, actually. And if we look now here, let's check, just check old fashioned building. So it doesn't say if it's in Paris, but it looks like Paris. And from here, you know, you can use the typical tool, like the, the designer tool, if you want to change the layout and boom, you have a better, a better result. So I would recommend to use that uh, just um, so you can add more prompt to your slides and, and, and add some slides and you can pre-visualize what's going to come and you can keep it or not because with the other copilot here it's going to create the slides before you you're able to preview them so use this one instead it's very beneficial and then you know fine tune uh, your your deck because you know it's like every every almost video I'm, I'm sharing you need to check the results just like i did with the image because there are some hallucinations there are some mistakes and it's there to empower you not to replace you so you still have to review the documents that it's creating and most of the time, 90% of it is good and, and you need to do some adjustment and, all, and also add your own creativity. Even if the, I think the creativity is more often now in the prompt than in the result, but you still need to review the result. There's no content that I don't review and that I don't change. So I hope this was insightful.